Hey, it's Joe Herbert, your Erie real estate agent. And today I'm gonna to take you through my favorite neighborhood in all of Erie County. And it, it isn't really a subdivision, it's a neighborhood in Northwest Erie, and actually in Northwest Milk Creek, which is a suburb just west of Erie. And it's only about three or four blocks, five blocks of homes, but it's the location and everything that's nearby it that makes it so great. And I'll just call it the streets of Indiana, uh, Nevada, and California Avenue. And it's in Milk Creek Township, in Northwest Milk Creek Township. And we're gonna drive through, and as I'm driving through, I'm gonna tell you about all the awesome things about this neighborhood. But as usual, before I get into the video, okay, click the thumb to like the video and subscribe to my channel because you'll get more great listings and more great content about Erie County. So let's go check out Indiana, Nevada, and California. Awesome, here we go. I just want to make one quick correction to the upcoming video. Throughout the video, I kept saying that this is the far corner of Northwest Mill Creek. It's actually the far corner of Northeast Mill Creek, right along the Erie, uh, city of Erie Mill Creek border, right around Pittsburgh Avenue. So anytime in this upcoming video, when I say Northwest Mill Creek, I'm actually talking about Northeast Mill Creek. So let's go check out this great video. I'm on Nevada Drive, Nevada Drive here in Northwest Mill Creek. And this is a neighborhood that's right at the beginning of Mill Creek. It borders Pittsburgh Avenue, which is the dividing line between Mill Creek and Erie. And it runs all the way over to uh, where Tracy School is. And it's from the Bay Front up to 8th Street. But I'm gonna show you the section between 6th Street and the Bay Front. And this is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Erie because it's close to so many things. And we're gonna show you some of those amenities like the Colony Plaza, Romulo's Chocolates, Frontier Park, and West Erie Plaza. But right now I just wanna run through some of these neighborhoods real quick and show you some of the houses. And it's a mix of houses. A lot of one-story houses, there's some two-story houses, some Cape Cods. There's no HOA here. So, you know, you can have a fence park your boat in the driveway if you want. Um, you can, uh, you know, have a storage shed. There's no HOA fees, no condo fees. And this neighborhood's been around, so you know, you've got nice landscaping, it's got character. There's not a lot of traffic, so people walk their dogs in the street, which is great. There's around 140 homes here in these three or four streets I'm gonna show you, because I'm gonna show you Nevada, Indiana, and uh, I'm gonna show you California and Colorado. That's the name of the streets. And again, I just wanna drive through this neighborhood real quick, show you the kind of houses are here. The price of the houses here right now, it is March of 2024, and you're looking at 275 up to about 475, depending on you know, the size of the house, obviously, uh, the amenities, has it been updated, et cetera. And I'm just gonna do one side of the street here. We just we just turned on 6th Street, on 6th and Col, uh, sorry, 6th and Nevada, and then we're driving down here to South Shore. Now these homes on South Shore are huge and very expensive. So I'm not gonna include those. Uh, actually, I'll take that back. I'll do a scan of those when I come back around so you can see South Shore because I'm typically filming out of the passenger side, so to speak, of my, my car. But you can see it's just such a nice, quiet, mature neighborhood, a lot of character, really nice homes. That home right there sold for about, that's worth about 500, it's a nice ranch. So here I am on Nevada now, which is the next street in this little section of Northwest Mill Creek. And this is, this is the farthest um, north and west you can go in Mill Creek. This is where Mill Creek really begins and like I said it borders Pittsburgh Ave which is the dividing line between Erie and Mill Creek and it goes all the way right down here to South Shore which borders the Bay. But if you want to live in a great neighborhood close to everything uh, again you're probably five minutes from downtown Erie. You're about a mile or two from Frontier Park. Another great thing about this is I, I go on and on about Prescott State Park. We have this 
amazing park that it's a peninsula that goes out into Lake Erie and it forms the bay. It's got, uh, you know, 13 beaches, boating, fishing, rollerblading, hiking, sailing. This is literally, I'm gonna say two miles from the entrance to Prescott State Park. Also, we have Waldemere Amusement Park and Water Park, it's amazing. You're one mile from that. So if you wanna be close to all the best things that Erie has to offer, this neighborhood right here, you know, Indiana, Nevada, uh, Pittsburgh Ave, California. This is the place to be. You're just close to everything. In fact, there's my friend's house. I love that house. He bought a nice two-story house there. He loves it. So we're coming up here, up to 6th Street. And I'm going to turn, because again, there are a bunch of houses in these neighborhoods between 6th Street and 8th Street. But I really, really love the section between 6th and 8th. But as you can see here, there are some decent houses on the other side of 6th Street. So now I'm coming over to California. And I'm going to turn on California. Now I got some friends that live on California. I love this street. Love to buy a nice ranch here as well. So you got this nice park. And Tracy Elementary School, which is a Mill Creek school. And by the way, this, this is where, uh, if you want your kids in Mill Creek schools, which are good schools, this is a neighborhood you would be in. And Tracy Elementary School is uh, probably four blocks to the west. So it's super close. Look at that beautiful contemporary house. Wow, they did a nice job on that. I love it. Another nice ranch house here in the corner. Another nice ranch house. That is one thing that this area of Northwest Mill Creek is known for, is a lot of one-story homes. California seems to have a lot of them. When you get on Nevada and Indiana, um, it's a little different. And I think Pittsburgh Ave has a mixture, but a lot of ranches here in California. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. And like I said, it goes from 6th Street all the way to the bay, and then the house, the road along the bay is Lake Shore. I'm sorry, South Shore. And the homes that overlook the bay, now these homes are a half a million to two million. And we'll take a look at those real quick on our way back. And then as I mentioned, I will drive through Westery Plaza. I will drive through Colony Plaza, and I will drive... Uh, I'll show you Romolo's and Frontier Park real quick. So somebody just bought this house here on the right, and it looks like they're, they got some contractors here that are redoing it. Houses here sell right away. I mean, it's just amazing. People just jump right on it. People getting ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. So we are on Pittsburgh Ave right now, and this is the road that's the dividing line. So I'm showing you this side of the street. All these homes are actually in Mill Creek. Uh, I'm not showing the other side of the street because that side of the street is the city of Erie. That's one thing I do like about this area of Northwest Mill Creek on all these streets here, Pittsburgh Ave, Nevada, Indiana, California. Just a mixture of houses. Uh, mature homes, mature landscaping. A lot of character. And again, if you don't live in here, you don't drive through here. And because South Shore is the last street before you hit the bay, there's not a lot of through traffic. So what happens is, people, like I said, they're just they're walking, jogging in the street, walking their dogs in the street. Okay, so that's those four streets. I'm going to run back down and show you South Shore real quick. So here we are now down on South Shore. And this is the road that borders the bluff of Prescott State Park and the bay. And I'm just going to show you a little bit about this. Now, South Shore, these homes are right on the bluff. The views are just stunning right now. Unfortunately, we can't just jump out and go look at it because these are private properties. 
But um, I'm gonna adjust my camera here a little bit more. There. But I did wanna just swing by and just show you these homes again are uh, actually probably more like 750,000 to I would say a couple million. And South Shore goes all the way into the city of here. So there's a lot more of these homes right on the bluff. Let's see if we can zoom in here a little. All right, that's cool. That's better. Oh, moving my camera around a little bit there. All right, well, I'll back up a little bit because I want you to see this whole house. Look at that. It's, this is sitting right on the block. So if you want, you know, waterfront property, you know, these don't have beach access, just so you know. But the view from this bluff, it's stunning. And again, these are three quarters of a million to two million. And you'll see one or two of these sell a year here in Erie County. Um, not a lot of them, because of course, uh, they just don't go for sale that often. But um, if, you, if, you're, if you're interested in a house like this, these houses are amazing. I know there's a lot of trees here, so we can't see everything real well, but um, you can see just stunning estate type homes that sit right on the bluff here in Mill Creek. I'm gonna back out again. All right, cool. So let's uh, go up here a little further. So we're just passing Nevada Drive. You can see there's another beautiful home back there. I don't know if we can zoom in and see it a little bit better. We'll hit the zoom on this one again and let's see if we can zoom in. Well, yeah, a lot of trees. I'm gonna pull up here and see if I can get you a better view of this one. I'll just kind of creep in the driveway a little bit here. Yeah, you can see that, right? What a great house. And they have nice big yards going right to the bluff. And when you get to that bluff again, it's nothing but view. You see the bay, you see the peninsula, and uh, gorgeous sunsets. One more up here, I'll just show you real quick. And actually, we'll go, we'll, we'll exit back out on Indiana again, so you can see some more houses there in Indiana. You know, I don't wanna really getting uh, people's driveways too much, but there's another gorgeous house set right on the bluff. So now we're going on Indiana, which is one of those streets. I think this is the first street we came in on. And you can see again, nice quality houses, kind of a variety of home styles. And um, we had a lot of one story houses down here. since I've been driving up and down, you know, Indiana, Nevada, California, and Pittsburgh, yeah, I haven't had a single car pass me. I'll take that back. One car passed me. And that's why I mentioned, um, you don't come through into this neighborhood unless you live here because there's no through traffic. So it's a great place to walk, walk your dogs. I mean, you see, you know, moms pushing uh, their baby carriage and walking the baby, taking the baby on a walk. It's just a nice, safe, quiet, low traffic neighborhood. So we're gonna wrap up touring the houses. I talked so much about all the amenities that are, that are nearby, that I just wanna take a quick cruise through the Colony Plaza, because you can walk to the Colony Plaza from this neighborhood. You can walk to Westery Plaza from this neighborhood. And if you want to take a great bike ride around the peninsula, like I said, it's only a couple miles away and, and there's a bike trail that goes from this neighborhood, literally right along 6th Street here, you can come up, get on the bike trail and bike all the way around the peninsula and right back to your neighborhood. So just amazing amenities here. Just real quick, I wanted to run through the Colony Plaza because I'm talking about this great south I'm sorry, Northwest Mill Creek neighborhood and how it's so close to everything and that's what makes the neighborhood so great. And one of the things is the closeness to Westery Plaza, Colony Plaza, Frontier Park, and downtown Erie. So I just wanted to run through the Colony Plaza real quick. So you just, you can just get a flavor of all these cool local 
businesses that are in here. We just passed uh, Lolly, which is a great uh, woman's clothing store. My wife loves to shop there. And, you know, here's the yarn shop. Uh, there's this beautiful stoneware shop. Peter James is a great menswear shop. I get a lot of clothes there. There's one of my favorite coffee shops, Brew Ha Ha. There's an insurance agent, cosmetic store. Juice Jar is awesome, right? They make great bowls, acai bowls, uh, shakes, a lot of good organic, gluten-free and vegan food in there. A la carte's a nice gift store. Les Crago Jewelers. Uh, there's some hair salons in here, framing shop. Just a great assortment of really nice locally owned businesses. Uh, San Sil is a great spa with all kinds of massages and facials and things like that. Jelly Bean Store is super cool. Right here on the corner unit is this Bellows Market. Been a grocery store for forever in Erie. Just amazing how long it's been here. And um, we're gonna slide down here. There's a Colony Barbershop. It's a men's place to get your hair cut. Popcorn store is awesome. Colony Pizza has great subs of pizzas and Steel City sandwiches. And then last but not least, their side isn't up here, but Colony Pub and Grill. Great place to hang out in the summer. They have bands outside. They got nice dinners. Um, really good place. So that's the Colony Plaza. That's what's so great about being uh, in this Northwest Mill Creek neighborhood, you're close to everything. And I'm gonna flip my camera around real quick and just show you across the street from the colony if you like barbecue, here's this awesome underdog barbecue grill. So I'm, I'm pulling into the West Erie Plaza and I mentioned this is one of the great amenities here about being so close to this neighborhood in Northwest Mill Creek. And right on the corner here at the start of the plaza is a restaurant called The Cork really good food great dining uh, pink berries like a yogurt and custard place you got a chiropractor there and then these shops kind of cut it right in here and and you got a ronin bar ronin in the back there excellent restaurant and a couple of clothing stores home furnishing store slide down here in fact i go to this gym right here uh, planet fitness Really great place to work out. And again, you can walk to all of this. This is a skincare and dermatology dermatology type um, spa. Um, and then of course, uh, we all have dogs, I think. There's dog grooming and Pet Supply Plus. So that's uh, really nice here about the Westery Plaza. You got all that stuff right there. So that is the far end of Northwest Mill Creek. And we're talking about part of Pittsburgh Ave. Uh, California, Nevada, Indiana Drive, right over to Tracy School. And again, what I love about that neighborhood is, you know, low traffic, quiet, nice houses. You can walk your dog in the street, but you're a mile away from Prescott State Park, you're in Waldemere, you're five minutes from downtown Erie, you're right down the street from Frontier Park, you can walk to the Colony Plaza, the West Erie Plaza, um, Green Garden Place, and Romo's right across the street from Frontier Park. What a great location. Um, if you're thinking about buying a house in Erie, consider that far end of Northwest Mill Creek. And if you think about buying or selling it all in 2024, uh, give me a call. I'm Joe Herbert, I'm your Erie real estate agent. And my number below is 814-602-6181. And don't forget, click the thumb to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.